Praise the Lord. Good morning and welcome to the sunrise with Jesus. Where your treasure is, there will your heart be. And guess what? What you treasure in your heart is what you will give to the world. Disappointments are something that we must encounter every now and then. But when disappointments are a reflection of a betrayal, are caused by a betrayal, we need to address the situation. Let me give you an example. A patient goes to see a doctor, a very renowned doctor. And when the patient meets him and talks about his problems, you know what the doctor does? He shows him his hospital and yes, he sits him down, cracks a few jokes, watches a movie with him, has a meal with him and this poor man is sick and tells the doctor, doctor, I have this problem and the doctor says, oh, this is your sickness and do you know how many people have this sickness in the world and he elaborates on the sickness and maybe he even gives him a painkiller but he does not give him the medicine that can cure him of the illness. What do you call this? You call it not a disappointment, but a betrayal. And what would happen to such a doctor? Ultimately, if he continues this way, he would be deprived of his license to practice his profession. Now, let us look at ourselves. We call ourselves Christians. Are there people who come to you and me and go back without receiving a glimpse of Jesus? What does the word Christian mean? The word Christian comes from the word Christ. We are people who are supposed to be carrying Christ. We are a people who are supposed to be anointed. And perhaps you and I could say, who wants God talk? Well, the church teaches us that the most important task of the church is not evangelization. The only task of the church is evangelization. The one job of the church is to give Jesus. Now we could again insist, who wants Jesus? Friends, every one of us, you and me included, every human being was born with a hole in the heart a God-shaped hole. And until and unless we give Jesus, we are doing nothing for the other person. Now, no matter what we say, if today you and I have disappointed the people who came to us, if today you and I have proved to have betrayed our identity of being Christians, it's not because people in the world don't want to hear about God. But it is only because you and I, we can only share what we have. If we have Jesus treasured in our heart, remember Jesus said, I am the light of the world. If you and I have that light in our heart, that light will shine through us. Now, if we do not have Jesus, we cannot give Jesus, even if we try to. At the most, what can we do? We can speak doctrines, we can speak big ideas, we can diagnose what the problems of everyone is, we can crack a few jokes, we can give some entertainment, but we will not be able to give Jesus. So friends, today, let us know we are here on this earth in order to let the light shine. And how do we do it? by nurturing a relationship with Jesus. Christianity is not about getting an academic qualification. You work for three years, you learn scripture, you learn theology. It is not at all about that. It is not even about preaching down to people, but giving Jesus is about treasuring Jesus in your heart. It is like nurturing a plant. Daily attention is required. Remember Jesus said in John chapter 15, you connect to me and I will connect to you. 
just like a tree and its branch. And if you connect to me, you will bear fruit. Dear friends, let us know we have a God who has called us to be witnesses of his light. If only we could treasure him in our heart, we will be a blessing to the world. And let's remember, if we do not contribute to the light, we will be contributing to darkness. As we listen to this message, may you and I treasure Jesus as a treasure of our hearts. Christianity is a public religion. When we read the Gospels, we understand. Everyone who comes to experience Jesus doesn't say that now I am Jesus. That person goes and speaks about Jesus to others. Take the case of any person. The Samaritan woman who met the Lord. The next thing that she is doing is going to the village and bringing people to Jesus. Saul, who was persecuting the church, when he was going to Damascus, he met the Lord. And then after that, what happened? The next thing is going and he's preaching about Jesus. This is a necessary progression that happens to anyone who comes and experiences the Lord. Praise the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, the Lord is waiting for each and every one of us. He's waiting for each and every one of us when we are going to begin this. It's not just the duty of priests and religious. It's the duty of every person who has received the sacrament of baptism. Because the word of God says, the moment we receive the sacrament of baptism, we are receiving that seal. That seal which is telling we are being set apart for the kingdom of Christ. The word of God assures us, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Dear friends, we have been called to live that love story with the assurance that it is God who first loved us. And if ever we love God, it is because we have seen and heard and touched his love. Come, let us adore Jesus. Come, let us be loved by Jesus. And let us witness to what this love can do for us. You are beautiful beyond description To marvelous forward To wonderful creation Like nothing ever seen or heard like nothing Never seen or heard. Who can grasp? Who can grasp your infinite wisdom? Who can fathom? Who can fathom the depth of your love? You are beautiful beyond description. You are beautiful beyond description. Majesty and throne above. Majesty and throne above. I stand in awe of you. I stand. I stand. God, I stand in awe of you, for you are the source and the fullness of beauty that my heart was searching for. Indeed, O oh God, I was searching for you everywhere, in all the places I went, in every person I met, in every dream, in every goal. And oh God, I searched everywhere else while you were there, oh God, in the fullness of beauty. 
in the fullness of your love you were there right beside me you were there right within me making your dwelling in my heart you were walking beside me oh god and today i stand in awe of you i stand in awe of your faithful love that has walked with me through every moment of my life i stand in all of your faithfulness oh god that never gave up on me i stand in all of your majesty your majesty that chose to be hidden in my heart oh god you are beautiful beyond description you are beautiful beyond description too marvelous for words too marvelous for wonderful for comprehension to wonderful for comprehension like nothing ever seen or heard like nothing ever seen or heard who can grasp who can grasp your infinite wisdom who can fathom who can fathom the depth of your love you are beautiful glory you are beautiful beyond this great Majesty enthroned above. Let's raise our hands and tell Lord, I stand in awe of You. And I stand in awe of You. I stand, I stand in awe of You. Holy God, Holy God, to whom all praise is due. I stand in awe of You. I stand in awe of You. awesome god we come before you this morning for when we see you o oh god it is then that the dark shadows are cast away from our heart oh god you are the light the light that shows us the way ahead oh god you are the truth the truth that gives meaning to our every breath you are the love that brings life to our hearts today god we want to live we want our hearts to come alive and we come to you god for you are the one breath the one breath that raises us up to greet this day with hope you are the one strength that raises us up that raises us up beyond our weaknesses yes lord this morning when we look at you lord we remember the days we have searched for you the days of oh god we were drawn to the things of this world the days oh god when we tried oh god to fulfill our desires to fill our hearts with what would never satisfy oh god we must confess we lost our way and our hearts became dried up to the point oh god we could no longer see your face jesus Today we come before you Lord and we present to you everything else that has blinded our eyes. Oh God, every other goal, every other treasure of this passing world. Every illusion that captivated our heart. 
where we forgot you, God. Lord, as we stand before you, we stand with those countless witnesses who came into your presence and realized that they were unworthy of being in your presence. Today, God, we come before you and we know the one healing we need is the healing that will allow us to see you. To see you as the one love that can fill our heart. The one healer that can heal our bodies and our minds and our lives and our families. God, you are the way, the way to the fullness of life. The one way that can draw us back from where we are lost. Jesus, we give you our fears of being lost today. Our fears of forgetting you once again. God, wherever we go, Lord, we don't want to be lost from you. God, whatever we look at, we want to see in the light of your love. Oh God, we pray as we come before you. As that blind beggar prayed, we pray, open our eyes. Jesus, if only you touch our eyes, we can see your face. If only you touch our eyes, we can see the treasure that we have in you. If only you touch our eyes, oh God, we will know that indeed we have all that we need, more than we need. If only we see your face, oh God, every shadow of sadness will be cast away. Jesus says, blessed are you who thirst. If you thirst for the righteousness, of the kingdom of God, you will be satisfied. Every other thirst led us away. Led us away to the place of darkness. To a place where we were lost from light. But we want to tell God, God, my God, open my eyes. Lord. I want to see Jesus. Reach out and touch him. To reach out and touch him. Say that I love him. And say that I love him. Open my ears, Lord. Open my ears, Lord. Teach me to listen. Teach me to listen. Open my heart, Lord. Open my heart. Love Jesus. I want to love Jesus. Open my ears, Lord. Open my ears, Lord. Teach me to listen. Teach me to listen. Open my heart, Lord. Open my heart, Lord. I want to love Jesus. I want to love Jesus.
Jesus, we want to hear your voice. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thirst and pray for a vision of God. Jesus, tell the Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Tell the Lord, Lord, I want to see you. I've seen so much in life, Lord. Now I want to see your face. Lord, I've heard so many words. I want to hear your voice, Lord. Oh God, I have accommodated so many things in my heart and I want to love you, Lord. I want you to be the king of my heart. Jesus, I want to love you. I want to worship you. I want to live for you, Jesus. Only you, oh God, can help me love you and live for you. Look at Jesus. And you will see your God is looking at you. Jesus says, no one can come into my presence unless you have been drawn by my Father. It is not you who chose me, but I who chose you. I chose you. I called you by name that you may bear fruit, a fruit that will last. Oh God, we come before you like Isaiah came before you. So God, when he saw your glory, he realized he was unworthy of being in your presence. Oh God, it was you who sanctified him. And Lord, sanctified in your presence, his eyes that were open to your glory were also opened to the needs of your people. Lord, we pray, Lord, as you have opened our eyes and our heart to see you and adore you, Open our eyes that we may seek what you seek. That we may love what you love. And that we may serve as you have called us to serve. That we may see your face, Lord, in those who come to us broken. As we adore him, let us offer this day to live for Jesus. Let us open our ears and we will hear the Lord saying, Who will go for me? I called you to be with me that you may go for me. Experience the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God telling you, I have seen my people's pain. Who will go for me? And let's tell him, Here I am, Lord. Here I am. Send me. I, the Lord of sea and sky. I have heard my people cry. I have heard my people cry. All who dwell in dark. All who dwell in dark and sin. The Lord assures. My hand will say. The hand of God that made the stars of sky. The stars of night. I will make their darkness bright. I will make their darkness bright. Who will bear my light to them? Who will bear my light to them? Whom shall I send? Whom shall I send? Let's raise our right hand and tell the Lord, Lord, here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? Is it I? I have heard you calling. I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord, if you lead me. I will go, Lord. If you lead me, Lord. If you lead me. I will hold your people in my heart. I will hold 
your people in my heart. I the Lord of wind and flame. I the Lord of wind and flame. I will tend the poor and lame. I will tend the poor and lame. I will set a feast for them. I will set a feast for them. My hand will save. My hand will save. Finest bread I will provide. Finest bread I will provide. Till their hearts be satisfied. Till their hearts be satisfied. I will give my life to them. I will give my life to them. The Lord did that. Whom shall I say? Let us go on our knees and commit our life to Jesus, saying, Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord, if you lead me. I will go, Lord, if you lead me. I will hold your people in my heart. I will hold your people in my heart. I will hold you, Lord, your people in my heart. I will hold your people in my heart. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I praise you. Lord, I Jesus, I adore you. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus we praise you are my God. You are the King of my heart. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We are yours, Jesus. To adore Jesus is to give Jesus that place in our hearts. Dear friends, today, Think about His love. Think about His goodness. Think about His grace that has brought us through. And as we contemplate this love with thankfulness, the light of Jesus will shine through us. And truly, we will be a blessing that God has created us to be. God bless you and may you have a beautiful, blessed, brilliant day with Jesus shining the light of Jesus. The Ministry of the Divine Retreat Center needs your support as they continue in their commitment to preach the good news of Jesus through the weekly retreats, the daily online and television ministry, through the service of 3,000 disadvantaged persons, the mentally challenged, the aged, the destitute women, the sick and abandoned and economically disadvantaged families. If you are inspired to share in this ministry through the sacred service of almsgiving, we invite you to send your love offering to Divine Charitable Trust CD account number 04022310000014 HDFC Bank Chalakudi Branch IFSC Code HDFC Zero 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 four zero two, and email the details to divine retreat center at gmail.com.